On this video, I'm going to teach you some basics on Affinity Designer. Let's get it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Angel and this is my channel, Angel Design. And my goal is to show you the tools to become the best graphic designer using Affinity Designer. If this is something you're interested, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some basics on Affinity Designer. And if you don't know what Affinity Designer is, it is a vector program similar to Adobe Illustrator. And this is why I create all my graphic design using Affinity Designer. Again, this is just going to be the basics. In the further videos, I will go more in detail. Our focus is just going to be the left-hand side tools, and I'm going to show you how they are being used. And that being said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so we are here in affinity.serif.com. This is the website. I'm going to have the link in the description for you to be directed to this website, okay? So the one we're going to focus today is going to be Designer. They do offer Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher. Affinity Photo is like Adobe Photoshop and Publisher is like Adobe InDesign. All right. They do offer an iPad version. I do own that one. Sometimes I like, I like to do some designs in there. Um, and at the time of this video, I see they have a 50% off. That is super great, guys. So make sure you check it out. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you what you could do with this program. Um, show you here in their website what you can do. All the stuff that I'm showing you here, they have in the website. That's stuff that, that you could do with Affinity Designer. Okay. So here we can see the, look at those colors. Nice artwork here. And you could also do some complex stuff like this. Look at those thin lines right there. That is pretty cool. And it seems like it took forever to do that. <laughs> um, also, this program does vector and raster. That's why I love this program so much because let's say you don't want to own Affinity Photo, you still could do raster on Affinity Designer. Okay, so let me show you a live preview here. So right now, this is the vector and raster. Let me show you the vector only. You're going to see this area right here, like the shading is going to change. There we go. See, this is just the vector and this is just raster and vector. So you could do both in this program. Okay. All right, let's scroll down. So this is more stuff you could do. Uh, you could also do mock-ups. You know, have, let's say you want to present your work to a client. This is the best way to do it. And make sure they, you know, get hooked with it, you know? All right, so look at the colors. Uh, all this stuff you could do with Affinity Designer. It's really a powerful tool, guys. Look at this type of artwork you could do with it. Um, yeah. And let me show you what else they got here. All right, oh, okay. So this is more mock-ups the ways you can save the files, which is really cool too. And they have a 50% off and they do offer this in Mac, PC, and iPad. Right now it's $24.99, guys. You gotta take advantage of this 50% uh, off. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna jump into Affinity Designer, so let's do it. Alrighty, so when you first open the program, this box is gonna prompt right over here and it says new document. That means you could go ahead and start from here and create your new document or you could just go over here, file and hit new. So we're gonna go ahead and do it like that. And this is gonna come up. So this is all your presets that you have or different sizes of canvas and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and work on a 1280 by 1280 and we're gonna do pixels. This is where you change all your stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and hit create. All right, so this is your canvas. And again, we're going to focus today on the left-hand side tools, and I'm going to show you what you can do with them. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm not going to be able to in this video. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video in, in two parts. So I might end up through pencil tool, and then another part two, I will do the rest. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with the first one. It's going to be the move tool. So let's do this. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and create a shape here and we're going to go ahead and click on the move tool so what this does it allow you to move move anywhere you want it and all that good stuff you could also with the move tool you could size uh, change different uh, 
sorry for the phone, um, different size and stuff like that, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Now the next one is gonna be the artboard tool. So the artboard tool is a pretty good one. So you could go ahead and click, right click and drag, but we're gonna go ahead and over here, insert to artboard, okay? So it also has the size, documents, sizes and all stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and click insert artboard. All right, so here we have our artboard. And let's say you are starting to create a logo, whatever. So this is where you name your artboard. So let's go ahead, this is your layers panel. So we're gonna go ahead and create, uh, rename it, sorry, logo. And now we have our first canvas here, our artboard here. So let's say you wanna create another one because you are choosing, you're having the artboard tool. So now you could go ahead and create another artboard, okay? And also you can name it logo two, sorry, logo two. And you could just continue to create multiple artboards or whatever you wanna do, you could create it right here. And you also could change the sizing of your artboard. Let's say you want the same size than that, than, than this one. So you could go ahead and put 1280 by 1280. And now you have the same size as this artboard, okay? So let's go ahead and delete that. And the next tool we have is the note tool, okay? And when you see that arrow right there, that means it's another tool is embedded in that one location, okay? It has more than one. Um, the text one has it and also the shape, okay? All right, so we're gonna use the note, the note tool. So let's go ahead and grab the shape here. Sorry, let's go ahead and grab the shape. And you see if I click here, it doesn't work. It has no nothing to do with, uh, I cannot grab no points or nothing like that, no anchor points. So that means you need to convert it to curves. So up here where it says curve, convert to curves, and now you see we have anchor points. So now you can move it with the null tool, move it just like that, over here, and like that. Also, you could go ahead and add points into it. Now you could do anything you want, okay? So that what the null tool is for. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that. And now we're gonna do the point transformation tool. So let me show you what you can do with that. I really don't use this one, to be honest, the transformation, uh, the point transformation tool. But what this does is it allows you to move to, to move as well. Let's say you move this over here. Now you could just, you know, play around with it like that, size it, and all that stuff. So you move it up here again you just continue to rotate size really don't use that so let's go ahead and use the corner tool so with the corner tool this is what it does you see you have points and now you could go ahead and round the corners with the the corner tool see how nice smooth corner uh, around it and also up here you have your strokes your corner types so you have a concave one. Let's see, get that nice one right here, and also straight, straight lines. And we have the cutout one, okay? So that way you can do. Let's say you want this a different, uh, a different way. You could have the rounded, or you could have the concave one over here. And also has the. You could change the radius up here, but again, it's more efficient if you do it like that and also has the big appearance. Now you have points in each one of them, all right? So let's go ahead and move to the contour tool. I like doing this one, this is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and show you what you can do with this one. Let's go ahead and grab this ellipse tool. Grab that ellipse tool and let's change the color to make it more interesting. So we're gonna use Switch the color to light blue. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab, I mean, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this one multiple times and size it differently. 
because I want to show you what you could do with this tool. It's really awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of them and I'm going to press Alt at the same time and add. Now I just created a compound. So now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and grab the corner tool, the contour tool, and I'm going to drag down, I mean, sorry, up, give it like a negative, okay, right there, stroke. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the move tool, and I'm going to, I'm going to click on each one of them and check what it does. It gives this, this nice liquid effect. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? So you can move it like that. Ooh, move this one like this. And you just gotta continue to be creative with this tool. This is so awesome. Okay, so that you could do with that. You could also do a stroke. So let's do this real quick. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this one right here. Okay, and we're gonna click this one and change the color. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the contour tool, and now it gives it that stroke, okay? Offset with it, and also you could change over here the corner types. You can do that as well, and that's another way that you could use the contour tool, okay? And the next one, we're gonna have the pen tool, and we're gonna stop right there, and then the second part, of the video we're going to do the rest of the tool okay so let's go ahead and let's move to the uh, pen tool let's go ahead and delete this all right so the pen tool is one of my favorites because when i do a drawing I, i'm doing some sketching for a logo on a piece of paper i'll scan the piece of paper into the system and i will begin to trace trace the the design the artwork let me go ahead and put some stroke here Make a little width thicker, okay? So here you just continue to trace your image, give it nice, you know, rounded corners, stuff like that, okay? So that's what you could do with the pen tool. I will get good at with the pen tool because as a designer and as doing graphic design, you will definitely use this tool a lot, so Again, you could just have your models here. Again, I'm not going to go through all of this, but this is you just could go ahead and, and start playing with it until you get pretty decent with it. And that should be concluding this video. All right, guys, so this concludes this video, part one, and how to use Affinity Designer. And if you found value on this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe ring post notification for you to be notified every single time we upload and also don't forget to comment down below and let me know what was your favorite tool and how to use affinity designer my name is angel from angel design stay positive stay creative see you on the next one